go, Cody! You bot attack! Oh no, Cody, you got this! Body's crutch up! Dodge attack! Good job, Cody! I'm gonna be the very best no one ever was. It's very calm at the moment, it's very smooth, it's very smooth. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> so we want to think, is there the blue Yitzi here? The official fight. Yeah. So you don't have to destroy. Ah, uh, here we go. Did not know that. Boof, boof. <laughs> you come back, have you? Oh, okay. Let me just drink my drink. Yeah, and this is King of China, China here with another video. And as you can see here, I just crafted some bandages. And no, that's not what this video is about, but what this video is about is how to level up crafting effectively. Everything you need to know about training crafting, which to be honest is the least of your worries. It's one of the skills that are most easy to train. But if you are having issues training crafting, you've come to the right video. Let's get started. Is These ones here. So obviously this is gathering, a lot of these are gathering. This one happens to be combat, but the crafted ones are predominantly these ones here. Literally as you click on them, it will tell you to take a picture of a certain thing and it will tell you the location it is from. So this one is a sandcastle. We don't have a forest one because we've really been, been using our points on getting the gathering items. Because as you can see, my lowest level thing is the gathering area. And craft is not an issue and crafting tends to be connected to a profession of yours if you are a sniper or an assault rifle i've been told and heard that is actually your combat experience goes up quite quickly but if you're crafting like an armor smith or a gunsmith then what will happen is your crafting will raise quite quickly it depends on what your main primary um profession is obviously with gathering mining and those type of visions i'm assuming gathering would be the same thing okay so let's show you where to get your first crafting ex um quest in here all right so the person's name is wold as an explorer you just click on the like so and she'll give you a scroll okay so don't forget her she's just around about this location here and she can move around, you know, around here or sometimes to the other side. So, yeah, but this is the person you get crafting experience of, okay? Just remember, don't talk to random NPCs because if you do, you will lose your points and able to do um, certain quests. So it's on free right now, as you can see. So if I talk to this lady, she now has a quest for me. I don't even accept it. I go back to the list. And the list will say, there you go, four. All right, so I can't say this enough. Do not talk to any other NPC if you are training a particular skill. If you skill. happen to collect, click on them, you might as well go ahead and collect it because that's what's going to be. But however, this quest happens to be a crafting quest. So let's get started. Dorothy is located in this area here on the map. But again, she does move around. If you have a certain level of gathering, then it will just appear on blue markers on your map and you'll be able to find her quite easily. All right, obviously talk to her, collect the quest of her, which will be a film, film reel, and that will obviously count as one of your commission dailies. Okay, so if you wanna do crafting, this lady here and the other one will give you the skill quest things for crafting that you need. So this is just one of the examples of one of the areas it could be in. As you're digging it up, it can be quite slow. So make sure you ain't got any zombies or something around you so it doesn't interrupt you. Of course, the board quest gives you crafting experience as well. It tends to be the one on the bottom right. Um, but it can, and obviously the main one on the top left also gives it to you as well. But I didn't really mention this in the forest one because it's a self-explanatory and most people do this. These quests can range between each other in terms of different ones. One will be to take a picture of a gazelle. One will be taking a picture of a mystic creature, which would be the uh, scorpion thing. And one is just taking a picture inside the cave. I am right now 
whilst it's in a sandstorm. If you don't do it whilst in a sandstorm, it won't work. But if you do it in a sandstorm, it'll be fine. I was thinking of doing certain pictures and images of me doing it, but I'm sure you guys understand what I'm saying. In this location, will be located in this area. For me it is, but of course, like every other NBC, she also moves as well. She has been seen up here and probably around here, but you just gotta just keep looking, guys. Um, but this one doesn't have a level mastery thing so what i mean by that is it doesn't ever appear them on the map but i'm sure on a later date the winter zone will become one okay welch uh explorer is normally located in this area here near this house around this area kind of thing just keep looking you'll find a look on the map whilst looking around and you should see a bullet point being blue just give her a quick talk um you want to go to the one which is a shoe snowlands and she should just go ahead and give you an item <laughs> if you've got space i don't have space so i'm just going to make that space now really quickly because it is a quest item she's giving me here we go so this one and she'll give you a scroll all right that scroll will give you take you to the crafting experience like so okay so the other part of the crafting quest is from nasa she's a different character than usual a, you just click on her and she will basically give you the scroll but obviously she takes our limestones and stuff like that at the moment and we're not going to give it to her right now that's for later so Vanessa tends to be located in this location here but she can be anywhere in the northern section of the swamp like here so just have a look around look for the small dot on your radar and you should be able to find Varzana is it Varzana? Nah. So Dorothy appears here, she'll give you another picture quest of course, if you got it of course, if you got the gathering items she'll take someone else off of you, but this is where you report to her, um, it's in this location here, she tends to hang around secret key path roundabout, if you struggle and you happen to have watched my gathering video, if you have able to get the gathering item for this area, it will also tell you where to find it, Dorothy Harvey will appear in secret key path during the day all right so the answer to find certain people is right there the quest is from varnana in far star city you just talk with her and she'll give you a scroll location for varna can be anywhere at the far star high school literally here 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 and here but to be honest going into the high school will literally bring up her bullet point and we'll just show you where she is same thing for Dorothy, oh my god, <laughs> um, she'll be in a place called Double One Park, difficulty 2, so yeah, she'll be around this area to me, there's a park with the fair ride, all that jazz, don't have to go far to be honest, it is just a place like this, and yeah, you'll see a bulletproof point on the minimap on the top right. Dorothy as usual she's the lady that you give the crafting quest to or you get the crafting picture things from you just talk to her like so okay so we're in Mount Snow so if you want a crafting scroll you go to Vagas right here click on her and she will give you a scroll this scroll will therefore give you a location of a, where a scroll you know where to pick it up or where to farm it and you'll go to the location pick it up to get that wonderful crafting XP Here's the other location by lots of zombies. But as you can see, she can also be here. Oh, here we go. All right, this happens to be the loot for it. Location of Dorothy can be right here in the daytime. Do you remember guys that all the quests that I'm showing you here are all at daytime? So yeah. So that's it for that you just click onto her like so she'll be like blah 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 and she'll get a, she'll give you a film reel and that could be anything and now we've come to the final part of the video where we just talk about pure and raw crafting experience now i thought there'd be a boring video telling you each individual item that gives you the most experience and stuff like that but to be honest it's just a simple answer to all of this madness for crafting experience it doesn't matter if it's not a lot of experience initially like this gunpowder the essence of it all is it will it be useful 97 yeah but then you end up making 10 of those 
10 of those, 10 times 100, rounding it off is 1K experience. You're always, always gonna need ammo powder, I mean gunpowder, sorry. And then smokeless gunpowder, even more so because 300 bullets for a drone is, you know, is, it makes it easier to stock the drone. And when you get a drone, you will know this is an issue that becomes later on. And this also becomes an amazing thing to sell. So these are the two things I recommend making. But if you haven't learned the materials or you don't wish to make them, then the items that you're always going to need as well is pig iron. Always be using this up, like always going to 30 of that, one of you can, always constantly making this stuff. Uh, hexagon nails, there's a lot of these main items that I just needed all the time. And I'm just going to show you my inventory or what I've got. So as you can see here, what I normally do is I'll put like 30 of each here. If I have a partner, I'll have 30 of the shared version there, or have 30 there and another 30 there, and vice versa, I'll have 30 of each category until it's filled up. So this one's like the closest to the where I want it. And then when it's like that, I'll go and use it to make a gun, an armor, something of sorts type thing or I'll just go and donate them screws are like my favorite thing to donate to NPCs just to get them done I like plates once again again it's the same thing as well I won't donate them to the NPCs but I'll make a lot out of those type of items and then I'll just keep doing it until it's complete same thing for the rare one items as well so that's in the wrong area but these type of things here as well I'll do the same to these exactly and then like it's always a growth to never really getting there you try to get 30 of each but then you end up making stuff but before you know it your crafting level will just be through the roof as you can see all triple of them when they're leveled up gathering literally leveled up yesterday and it's already leveling up again so that's the best advice I can give for crafting. I guess if you want a really more in-depth video about crafting and how to really, really do it and what particular items I can do, but I'm gonna do it by request because that will eat up a hell out of a lot of my time. Researching, getting it down on point, everything. So I'll do that by request. If you guys really want me to do it, then I'll do it, but I'd rather not to if I be ultimately honest like really really badly honest okay but yeah you're just making stuff that you're always gonna need last quick tips for the road always be making these things always useful and flower extremely then you want to be making wooden planks brick and cement always, you're gonna need them forever, so always be making them. And finally, on this table, you always wanna be hitting that ammo. All right, you're gonna need it, trust me, that, and the smokeless thing, you're gonna need it. And then, yes, you're gonna need this a lot, especially if you have a howitzer, and this. All right, they're your main focuses on making them if you wanna train your crafting and have something useful. Fight. Yeah. So you don't have to destroy. Ah, uh, here we go. Did not know that. Boof, boof. <laughs> you come back, have you? Oh, okay. Let me just drink my drink. <laughs>